Attila seventh episode erupted for nearly 11 hours on Sunday. The USGS reported that the episode officially began around 9 a.m. and ended abruptly at 7.54 p.m. The North Vent Fountaining stopped completely at 7.54 p.m., hours after reaching a maximum height of 1,100 feet. The high fountain produced about 1.6 billion gallons of lava that covered 80% of the crater floor, according to the USGS. Low-level activity was reported Saturday as lava overflowed from the north vent. USGS officials expect the fountaining height to increase in the coming hours. A high lava fountain erupted at the summit of Kilauea Volcano on Sunday, as episode 27 was underway in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. The continuous lava fountaining began at 8.03 a.m. and has been growing slowly. At 9.03 a.m., the height and strength of the fountain increased dramatically, peak inflation changed to deflation, and tremors increased. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory issued a volcanic activity notice at 9.31 a.m. Hawaiian Standard Time. The winds are from the northeast to east according to the National Weather Service, although field observations indicate that actual wind conditions are more variable, the USGS HVO reported. As it is currently uncertain, in which direction volcanic gas and tephra emissions from the lava fountains may be distributed in the vicinity of Halema Uma. The Hawaii County Civil Defense issued a radio message at 11.29 a.m. Hawaiian Standard Time, stating that the 27th eruptive episode has begun at Kilauea Volcano. When erupting, Halamomau Crater is truly a place to visit. If your travels take you to the volcano today, be aware of traffic congestion in and around Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Drive with caution as pedestrians and parked vehicles may be near or in the roadway. Be patient as your Kokua will allow everyone to enjoy the event. Also be aware of Tefra on Highway 11 south and east of the park. If you have a sensitive respiratory system, you should avoid areas downwind of the eruption. Winds can change, so stay alert. At 11.40 a.m. Hawaiian Standard Time, field crews measured a lava plume coming out of the north vent at 1,115 feet, 340 meters. Tefra is seen falling inside the crater and toward the south-southwest. By the way, they all agreed today that it won't be long before the next episode of Sustained Fountaining begins. The Hawaiian Observatory reported around 9 a.m. today, June 28, in a volcanic activity notification that low-level preliminary activity for episode 27 of the ongoing episodic eruption at Halima Uma Crater began around 7.30 a.m. The activity consists of intermittent lava outpouring from the north vent in the southwest part of the crater, one of two vents from which the eruption. Sustained lava fountaining is likely to begin on June 29th or 30, Sunday or Monday, based on current peak inflation rates, but could begin sooner if preliminary activity increases, the observatory said in its notification. The tilt meter at U Wekahuna had recorded inflation of 15.5 microradians at the time of the notification this morning since June 20th and the end of episode 26. Low level seismic vibrations also continue below Halema Uma Wu crater. During recent eruptive episodes, Low-level preliminary activity has lasted from a few hours to a few days and may include lava ejections from the north and or south vents, small dome fountains, and lava outpourings from one or both vents.